So um, this time we're going to talk about the impact that DNS can have and can you get a feel for whether your ISP is giving you different DNS performance. Now, the program I'm actually using to test this on the Raspberry Pi, uh, still in the speed test project, um, we're actually going to go not use, we're going to try to not use the ISP's DNS servers. We're going to use Google servers and we're going to use those servers to look up wikipedia.org and uh, we'll see how that works, right? So <clears throat> I have two ISPs as usual. Um, we're going to look at these two graphs here on the right hand side of my Azure App Insights dashboard because that project actually posts to Azure and this is in the free tier on volume so you should be able to create this dashboard without um, having to pay for it, I think. Um, and the two ISPs in red here for these two, we have uh, Verizon Fios, and in blue, we have um, our friend Mediacom, uh, which I'm using from Delaware somewhere. And so what we would like, uh, give you a feel for this, this is the maximum DNS time for that time period. And this is the minimum. Uh, the program actually comes back with standard deviation and mean, but I thought min and max are kind of interesting here. Um, one of the cool things is in the Azure dashboard here is we can actually zoom on one of these. And so this is the min time to look up wikipedia.org using the Google servers. So what you get out of this is, man, when I'm on Fios, it's under five milliseconds per lookup. If, if uh, you're on, I'm on my Mediacom network, it is never less than 30 milliseconds. Well, almost never less than 30 milliseconds, and it's usually larger than that. And this is the min, right? So the minimum on this, uh, and if, and actually you can kind of play with this here. You can, uh, you know what, I'm not gonna do, yeah, we can do this. We can say that we want, I actually wanna show you every 15 minutes what this looks like. And so these are the actual samples from that period. Everything else was kind of an average thing to give you a better look. Uh, we could look at this over the last couple days. Let's look over the last seven days. And you can get a feel uh, for the tiering in this. And so this is the minimum DNS time. We're not going to save this. We can look at the maximum DNS time. You can see here uh, that generally the maximum is usually not above 50, but you can kind of see these uh, stair step. I don't know why it is. I don't know what the deal is. Let's not go to automatic. We're going to go to 15 minutes again. And I think this is, yeah. So you can kind of see this here. And uh, it's also weird if you do like 24 hours, no, let's do seven days. Um, you can see this tiering again, right? That we actually get these kind of really bad on a regular basis, 300 milliseconds to do an ENS lookup. So in this case, uh, you see this a lot. Uh, the the uh, applications you're using or whatever, they'll pause. And they're pausing because they're looking at multiple, doing multiple DNS queries and sometimes it's noticeable and there's some kind of route thing on top of this I'm going to try and dig up. But it gives you a feel for how this works. So that's that. Uh, in this project, uh, we did the speedtest.net, and now I've added a bit of a hack. i got to improve it uh, where we do the DNS lookup. I hope that uh, is useful to you, and it gives you an idea of uh, yet another area that can be messed up for your network performance.